Здрасте. In this video, I will go through the steps I take when I'm changing oil and differential fluid on my 2011 Honda Pilot. First, I will raise the back of the vehicle on the ramps for better access to the differential. I don't need to do this when I'm only doing the oil change. Next, I am raising the front of the car with a floor jack and place it securely on the jack stands. For better access, I take off the plastic engine cover and then twist off the engine oil cap. With a 17 mm wrench, I undo the oil drain plug and let the oil drain out of the engine. While I'm waiting on the oil to drain out, I prepare the new oil and filter. I use advanced full synthetic Mobile One 5W20 oil for vehicles with over 75,000 miles and Mobile One 110A filter for my year, make and model. Next, I undo the oil filter and let the oil drain out before taking off the old oil filter completely to minimize the spill and mess. I add some oil to the new filters, threads and rubber seal. After that, I clean up the area from spilled oil and install the new filter by hand until it is tight. Then I thread in the drain bolt by hand and tighten it with a 17mm wrench. I 
I install the funnel into the engine fill hole and add approximately 4.5 quarts of oil. To check the proper oil level fill, I take the dipstick out, wipe it off and put it back in. Then I take it out again and check that the oil level is in the marked area on the dipstick. After that, I put the oil cap back on and reinstall the plastic engine cover. I pour the used oil in an old container to take it for recycling later on. Now I move to the back of the vehicle to proceed with the differential fluid change. To gain access to the drain and fill bolts, I first need to remove the spare tire from underneath the trunk area. Inside the trunk compartment, I am taking out the plastic cover and rubber plug to access the spare tire hoist mechanism. And using the car jack tools, I begin to lower the spare tire. To speed up the process, I rig up my cordless drill with a drill to half inch socket adapter and a 30mm socket. has to be on the level surface when performing the differential fluid change. So I use a free level app on my phone to verify that and adjust the height of the front of the vehicle with a floor jack. I use Honda VTM4 differential fluid and a fluid transfer pump. Before draining the fluid, I will need to undo the fill bolt first and drain bolt second. This way, if for some reason I am unable to undo the fill bolt, I can still safely operate the vehicle. Using the 3 8 extension on the ratchet, I quickly realized that I do not have enough leverage to do the job, so I switched to a longer breaker bar and crack the fill bolt loose. Then I unscrew the fill bolt completely out by hand and set it aside. After that I move on to the drain bolt on the bottom and instead of struggling with the breaker bar I switch to an impact wrench to break it loose. These bolts can be quite stuck, so I switch to the third power level and the bolt finally gets in. I unscrew the drain bolt till it's completely off the threads, but I don't take it out completely to let the fluid drain out without making too much mess. When most of the fluid has drained out, 
I take out the bolt, inspect it, wipe it off and put it to the side. It has a magnet on the tip to collect any metal shavings, which can be a sign of premature wear of the differential. Luckily, mine isn't bad at all. After allowing the remaining fluid to drain out of the differential, I reinstall the drain bolt by hand and tighten it to 35 foot-pounds of torque with a torque wrench. Then I insert the hose of the fluid transfer pump into the fill hole and start pumping the fluid into the differential. When the fluid starts dripping out of the hole, I know that it is at a proper level and I don't need to add more. I clean up the spilled fluid with a rag and reinstall the fill bolt at the top. I screw it in by hand initially and afterwards also tighten it to 35 foot-pounds of torque. With the differential fluid changed and both bolts tightened, I can replace the spare tire. But before I do that, it is a good idea to check the spare tire for inflation and add air if needed. Mine is low, so I'm inflating it to 60 psi, as is written on the spare itself. I suspend the tire back on the cable of the hoist mechanism and wind it back up with the drill I rigged up earlier. The job is almost done and the only thing left is resetting the maintenance light on the dashboard. For that, I navigate in the menu where it says Service, and in my case it has code A16. I press and hold the select button on the steering wheel for several seconds. When the Oil Life Reset screen comes on, I navigate to Reset and press Select again. And we are back to 100% Oil Life again. Thank you for watching and I hope this video helped you if you're doing this job yourself. Please subscribe, like and comment down below. Till next time, до свидания.